Good morning, welcome to another episode of virtualmacosx.com tutorials. I'm James McKenzie and today we're going to be looking at how to use no machine to connect to your VMOSX environment. There are many different ways that you can connect to your hosted environment. Last week we looked at using the built-in screen share application in Mac OS to connect to your host environment. And this week we're going to be looking at uh, probably one of the best solutions for connecting to your environment, which is using the No Machine client. We pre-install No Machine service on all of our environments and it's a very easy process to connect using the freely available No Machine client at nomachine.com. So we're going to walk through this process today, starting with downloading the No Machine client and connecting using that downloaded client. So let's start by going to our browser. I'm going to start with nomachine.com. And here we are at nomachine.com where you have, it'll automatically detect your operating system and provide the appropriate download. In this case, I'm running Mac OS, so my download is for the Mac. I'm just going to click on the download now and allow it to download. That's a fairly quick download. It's not a very large package. Once that's downloaded, okay. So here we have the package. Double click to install. It's gonna run through a very basic installation procedure. Again, this might be a little bit different depending on the platform that you're connecting with. In this case, the licensing information would recommend looking through the licensing information just to be sure that it fits your use case scenario. Once you've read through that, you can continue and agree. Standard installation, install. So this download actually will install the entire No Machine package, which includes the service and the client you're only going to be needing to use the client to connect. Installation was successful. Close. Do some tidying up. Let's go through the process of adding one. Okay, so you're gonna have this information sent to you in your welcome email, your login information. The name is whatever is meaningful to you. So this is just descriptive. Um, so in this case, we'll just say, the VMOSX environment, then the host, okay, so you're going to enter the host name, host information, which is the IP, or in this case, the URL of the environment, and you're going to leave the default port at 4000 and the protocol at NX. Once that's done, you're going to hit connect and then you're going to use the username and password information that was sent to you in your login email. So we're just going to go ahead and enter that information here. You can save this password in the connection file so you won't have to re-enter it when connecting again. Uh, generally, I recommend muting the audio on the server while connected. Okay, so that's all good. Some display resolution information, scaling the remote desktop to fit into the window. It's generally what I do. So generally we recommend scaling the remote window desktop to fit into the window. So let's just click OK. Don't resize the remote display. OK, and then here we are at the login window. So again, we're going to use that same information that we used in the first step. 
to log in. One of the reasons why we recommend No Machine is that it just offers generally the lowest latency and fastest performance of any of the different um, connection methods that are available. Occasionally the service will be already in use by another user on your shared desktop. In that case you can revert to using the share, screen share application or a VNC client such as Type VNC. Okay, here we are, we're into the environment, and then from here we can just uh, go ahead and work on our desktop as if it was a desktop in front of us. We have full uh, capabilities here. We have the Apple menu where you can choose to log out. Be sure to log out and not shut down when you're finished your session. If you're on a time-limited plan, be aware that having any apps open um, will use some of your time. So be sure to close Windows and log off when you're not using the system. Best practices to log off when you are finished your sessions. We'll do that now. I'll log out my user and once we've logged off, there we go. And close the window and that's how you connect to your virtual mac osx.com environment using the no machine client i hope this has been helpful and we look forward to seeing you on our service in the future have a great day